what is Jurat's business model? How does Jurat actually make money? So like a lot of startups, uh, our original phase is we want to change the world. Let's figure out how to do it. We'll worry about how to make money later. We're now moving into the money making phase. And so, so one is by creating our own bespoke blockchains, you know, we will have a token economics associated with it. So for example, the Bitcoin fork that we created has its own coin, which is JTC. Uh, it's not publicly. Oh, yeah, actually, that's right. You're an early adopter. I'm an early adopter. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be listed soon. And we also are going to have uh, we're, we're about to come out with an app called Zabo that'll be a peer to peer way of, of uh, trading it and therefore monetizing JTC. And we've been encouraging people to actually spend it as thank you <laughs> as digital currency. Uh, so 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 that, uh, you know, we didn't pre mine any of it because you know, we're true to Bitcoin, but, uh, you know, we are participating as miners and therefore, you know, we'll just make money like other miners will. Uh, licensing the technology to other blockchains that want to use it uh, is another business model. And then because we have this court connection capability, and, and Zabo is an example of this, we have the ability to create commercially viable smart contracts where you have the ability to resort to court and therefore, you know, offer these products that are much more usable by mainstream commerce. So Zabo, for example, uh, two sides, you know, we, we use the, the, the example of a freelancer who wants to do business over the internet. Like which fiber, they don't know. Fiber, right. Yeah. They can specify their contract. They can require the customer to escrow the money in that contract before they begin. So they don't have to worry about getting ripped off. Meanwhile, the customer doesn't worry, have to worry about getting a shoddy product because if they didn't get what they were supposed to get, there's a dispute rec, you know, resolution mechanism built in. And for Zabo, we've got uh, an arbitration mechanism built in by an arbitration company that we've started that's Web3 specialized called Arbit3. Oh, nice. um, and that'll deal with small disputes that people really can't take to court. But for larger disputes that people do want to take to court, They've got Jurat built into it. And so they will be able to use smart contracts in a way that feels an awful lot like a paper contract. I love that. So you've got uh, some vertical and horizontal integration going on um, where you're moving upstream, realizing that um, there are certain disputes that are best handled by courts. And there are certain disputes that the courts need not uh, interfere with. A lot of people have arbitration clauses in their contracts. And if, uh, it makes sense for the, the, whatever the transaction is, then it, you know, you can make that work with, with Arbit three. That's, that's very cool. Yeah. Yeah. 